My hair is trash today. Hi. <laughs> Again, doesn't introduce yourself, it's fine. My hair is really gross today, um, so we're just gonna deal with that. I think I say something's gross maybe like every video, so I should really just stop giving a shit, but just to give you a heads up so I didn't spook you <laughs> before the video even started. Today I'm giving you guys your general tarot reading for all zodiac signs. Obviously, if you click on the video and it doesn't resonate with you, the message was not for you. But a majority of you that are drawn to this video, regardless of your sign, there's something in here that needs to be spoken. So yeah, there's basically there's a lot of planets going retrograde, going direct. At the moment right now, I feel like we've been in a six-month period of crazy eclipses and transitions and retrogrades and all all sorts of stuff um, but we're coming into on October 5th Venus retrograde I believe and depending on your moon it could hit you differently within your life normally Venus rules beauty and love and partnerships so with that being said you're kind of being asked to reevaluate I believe there's another could be wrong Saturn I don't know, but I do know Venus is going retrograde, and I believe that is until November 15th, so starting October 5th into November 14th or 15th, and we could still be feeling the shifts, the shadow periods, one month after, because I felt it in September, baby. You're being asked to reevaluate and focus on self-love, not only of love of the, those around you and getting rid of the toxic relationships that might be attached, but... Self-love. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna take this one as our overall energy. The moon. I'm doing reversals today. Hopefully not too many come out. <laughs> Just for the sake of everybody involved. But I am doing reversals. So first we start with the moon. Sometimes the moon can mean things you haven't come to understand yet. Whether that be secrets, whether that be inner knowledge that yes our intuition knows but we personally don't know yet we haven't tapped into it the moon can also stand for illusions and illusions can mean a bunch of things it could be an illusion of you thinking things are going to turn out a certain way and they turn out different not meaning that the outcome isn't what you thought it would be it's just the road to get there was a bit different. So starting with the moon energy, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of truths this month, whether it be from other people or truths within that you're figuring out. Since it is, I believe, the month of self-love for all zodiacs, I think this could mainly be around your own personal truths and personal transformations with the moon here. Sometimes I take the moon personally as a little bit of an anxious card. It doesn't have to mean your October is full of anxiety. It could just mean some transitions make you a bit apprehensive because who really likes change? At least me being a Taurus, I don't love abrupt change, but Uranus going into my sign for the next seven years doesn't really give me a choice. So I think that's a pretty good card to start with personally, even though some underlying things could be not what you thought they were. But basically, I think we're just at the end of cleansing out all the bullshit and kind of finding our inner wants and desires. Okay. And we have, interesting, this is our last flyer, and then I'm going to do the actual reading for you. So next we have Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings, and kind of death transformation death transformation in the sense of coming out of the old and the comfortable and coming into the more uncomfortable for your own good i see a ton of new beginnings and new options on the horizon for work for love for your own personal growth i think that the expansion is really huge this month in all aspects of our life. Mm-hmm, mm baby, baby, baby. Oops. Lots of truth. <laughs> so our first card is the Seven of Cups reversed. 
So normally I take the Seven of Cups as an illusion card, a deception card, um, somebody pulling the wool over your eyes, but since it's reversed here, it seems like a lot of truths are going to come out. Doesn't mean they're going to be the truths that you want to know, but truths that are going to push you in the right direction. This looks really weird with my knees up. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, so our first energy is the truth. It's somebody revealing something that they have kept from you. It's coming out of a denial of a certain situation. You're no longer in denial. The next card we have the Mother of Pentacles, which would be the Queen of Pentacles in traditional tarot. There's a lot of home energy. There's a lot of working to build abundance within your home and around your life, and whether it be with your children, with yourself, with your lover. You are hard at work and you're working on the imbalances that you have in your life and creating harmony and peace within as well as outward. But I'm going to take this as more of a personal reading because I really do feel like it is based on the specific person rather than partnerships, even though it can aid to your partnerships. It's more the inside out effect currently where I believe we're working on our inner imbalances. And then once those are cleared up, we're 99% figured out by the end of this month, we can then shower those we love with the proper love and affection because we have learned to love ourselves this month. Now, we have the Six of Wands here reversed. I'm feeling like this is the lack of self-confidence. I feel like you are determined and now that you see the truth, you want to progress forward, but you don't know if you should. It's kind of the contemplation type of energy I'm feeling. You see the light at the end of the tunnel, you see the possibility, you see the expansion, you see the growth, but you might be a little afraid of it at this moment. Um, the next card next to that is Temperance Reversed. I take Temperance as a very healing card, very wise, full of wisdom, full of divine presence, and because it is reversed, I feel like it's reflecting on the inside rather than in relation to other people or people around you. This is a very self healing. So with this card, I'm not going to take it as there's no healing going on and normally upright this would mean success and victory, but because this is reversed, it's not that you don't have the success and victory, it's just that you're lacking the confidence at the moment. This card can obviously be rebalanced, it's just a matter of mindset. I feel like a lot of people, there are swords here, as most people know who watch a ton of tarot, swords are thoughts. Um, and I feel like you're blocked off by your thoughts and your worries and the illusion as well could be a specific fixation on how things need to go in your mind or how you think things are going to play out. You could be overly negative and it could be blocking you at the moment from your victory and success, but you see your victory and success. It's one of those things where it's here because it showed up but you need to find out inside why you're blocking it. Are you scared of the new beginning? Are you scared of the growth? Are you scared of the possible transitions? Do you feel like it might not turn out as well as you thought? I feel like there's a lot of toxic energy being released within as well as with others. It could be a toxic relationship. It could be a toxic mindset. I'm kind of getting more of the mindset here. It seems like you're putting yourself through a lot and it's not as bad as it seems. Um, somebody could be withholding information from you. That doesn't have to mean that they're telling secrets or they're cheating because I don't see any betrayal here, but I will clarify before I say that <laughs> so uh, confidently, but it seems like you might just not be confident in the situation because before it could have turned out kind of messy and now giving it another shot makes you a little anxious and the illusion could be your own fears and anxiety sidetracking you. So this could be you overcoming those fears and anxiety to lead you to what you want. The last card we have is Ace of Swords Upright. This is truth and mental clarity. I think by the end of this month, if not sooner than that, you are going to see things for exactly what they are. There's not going to be any rose-tinted glasses on, no sugarcoating, none of that. You're going to see how it is and you're going to choose to proceed with caution. I am feeling like I'm supposed to tell you there's a sense of caution by whatever's coming to me. Um, I think that the process has been very slow for a long time 
and that could be scary for some people but you know you need it at the same time it's kind of like when mercury goes retrograde if you go too hardcore and you fight with the planet you kind of have more trouble than the most of the population you could be more clumsy you could be having trouble with the computer it's about the rush of things everybody is in such a rush now i'm gonna pull some clarifiers let me see let's do clarification for the seven of cups mm. oh man Okay, I'm gonna just take all of these cards and run with it. So we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Father of Pentacles, and which I believe would be the King of Pentacles in traditional if you're more familiar with that, and then we have the Five of Cups. It seems like the illusion is almost how to get to your goal. So you see your goal, you're just fearful because you may have been deceived in the past, because I do have grief here. I'm going to either take it as you think it's going to turn out one way and it ends up a little bit disappointing, or you are currently in a state of not knowing how things are going to turn out and you're being overly negative, so it's causing you to not see that you have your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment at the end of the road. The Father of Pentacles is a very loyal, dedicated card. Because your Nine of Cups isn't reversed, it's not that you don't have the wish fulfillment, it's a matter of believing that you have the wish fulfillment coming. It could be because things are going so slow that you don't believe it's coming, and then that's stalling the process. I'm sensing a lot of stagnation. The Five of Cups could be a past energy. It could be what happened in September that is making you feel this way in October. There's a lot of self-healing going on, so it could have been something really big that affected you that you're still in your depressed type of mode or your kind of cloudy look on life because you're scared for things to get good again. I can really <laughs> relate to that one. Let's clarify this reversed six of wands. I'm not going to clarify the mother of pentacles because she is upright and we know what she means. So I'm going to take two cards from the bottom as overall energy because this is just too crazy. So we have this going on. We have the star card upright and we have the tower reversed. So I'm totally getting the sense of you're blocking yourself. The tower reversed for me, some people could say, oh, it's you choosing not to deal with the situation or choosing not to work on something because you're scared. But the fact that it's next to this healing and this wish fulfillment, it seems like you're doing a lot of inner healing. You're focused on the self-healing right now and maybe that's why your victory is taking a little longer than expected because you have been through something very traumatic. But it seems like it's getting a lot better because it's not that you don't have the healing and the fulfillment. We have Temperance, we have the Star card, and we have the Nine of Cups. That's a crap ton of healing and wish fulfillment, so I wouldn't be too nervous about that. I'm thinking the Tower was also past energy. Not only are you self-healing now, but I believe the Tower could have been upright in a September reading for you, which is mass destruction either emotionally physically getting sick getting run down at work in love with whatever it is now we're going to do temperance i'm going to see why is temperance reversed so temperance is reversed with the three of pentacles and how i like to view the three of pentacles is a lot of team effort this is about your partner or people around you, whether it's in the workspace or it's love or it's friendship, there is a team effort going on in the healing department. You could have had a falling out with a lover or the end of a toxic relationship and now you both are in healing mode, either together or separate, but it's a team effort. It seems like both parties went through something pretty traumatic. Maybe you had your partner break up and they had their part. Either side could have been worse or not worse, but the focus is the teamwork and coming up from the tower moment to either come out together or come out better on your own. Obviously, you want to focus on self-love before loving anybody else, so I think the teamwork 
interestingly enough, not only means with you and this person working together to get that healing, to get that energy back, that illumination of your relationship, but I feel like it's also teamwork individually. So your person working on themselves, and you working on yourselves, and then coming together as one and fixing the problems that have been in the past. I see a lot of self-reflection as well as revision on relationships. So the teamwork could just be really focusing on, okay, this is what I want, this is what we have to do different to succeed this time, and the tower moments in the past, putting things in the past, and now we proceed carefully. So I'm gonna clarify the Ace of Swords, but I'm feeling mm, the need. Yep, and that's why. So we have the Death card and the Four of Cups. Interesting. So since the Death card is upright, this means you have either undergone a great transformation or you are in the midst of a great transformation. It's on top of Ace of Swords. So something you have discovered has led you to all of this self-healing this contemplation with the Four of Cups, I feel like could be what direction you want to go. It could be a matter of being in something toxic and then and deciding whether it's worth it to work on it with the person or not, or should you just be focusing on yourself right now. I feel good things with the Death card though. I don't feel anything negative even if it is you cutting off somebody in your life. It seems like the decision is either already basically been made intuition wise, like you know inside, but you're nervous to act on it. But I feel as though when you act on it, that's when you are led to your abundance and your victory and all of that healing is put to great use. Um, let me just do, I wanna know a little more about the Four of Cups. Let's see. Mm, four of Cups. And we have the chariot in reverse. So the contemplation is about moving forward with somebody or by yourself. <sighs> Don't think that the cards can't turn upright. I'm going to tell you, first and foremost, they are. Everything is in your favor. It's a matter of realizing that it is in your favor and getting past all the illusion of the fear and the anxiety and the what ifs and just kind of going for it because the end result is gold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading about your October forecast. I know I did. Um, I'll be back with more videos soon and I wish you the best of luck this October and lots of self-love and healing to come.